All right, so Gargoyle, let's get into it. Uh, so if you've ever seen the TV show Gargoyle, they're a lot like that. Uh, they have a pointy ears, horns, and they have crackly gray skin with black cracks all over. Um, in terms of makeup, this is a tough race to play in terms of makeup. You wear a lot of makeup to do this because a lot of the gargoyles I've interacted with go really hard, quite literally in the paint, uh, in the makeup. <laughs> they go hard in the makeup to uh, really pull this look off, this crackly earth look. Um, and they're super cool. Uh, gargoyles have a lore. Shifted in just south of the Folk Nation. They're, I don't know. I think Gargoyles just kind of appeared one day. I'm pretty sure that's what the lore is. is they just kind of showed up. Uh, they're really cool. And they're interesting. I've met like three or four of these guys. And there's one or two of them that regularly play. So you, if you want to play a Gargoyle, you're not going to be alone in the race department. Uh, racial abilities. I don't know. In terms of Gargoyle culture, like... Do they have an accent, or do they have a certain type of, uh, like, culture? I haven't personally encountered anything like that. So in terms of, like, figuring out what elder gargoyles are like, this might be something really interesting. This might be, like, Genasi, where they're a go-figure-it-out kind of, like, story. And that's really neat. Like, this is that's, like, a big... That's, like, a cool thing about playing a race. It's, like, go figure it out, you know? Uh, we talked about it with Genasi, but, like, Gargoyle is one of those races. Uh, Athletic 6, that's pretty dope. Claws, because they got, if you look at the picture, they got claws. Uh, enhanced Strength 4, so they're not as big as Flesh Golems, but 4 is a lot better than 2. Threshold. Threshold is a pretty solid skill. Um, what it means is that if you hit me with a number and that number is less than my threshold, I don't take that number. So if you hit me, I have, I have threshold six and you hit me with a weapon sword for two damage, I say no effect. And if you hit me for a damage of five, I say no effect. If you hit me with damage for six, I say no effect. If you hit me for damage for seven, that's when I start getting hit. Um... And this can also be reduced by using skills. So if they hit you for 14 and you have 6 threshold and you reuse the basic parry, for def which reduces an attack by 10, so 14 minus 10 is 4, then when that 4 goes to hit your body, if it doesn't break your threshold, then you also say no effect. So it's a very strong defensive skill. In a lot of the high-level fights, threshold doesn't really matter because people are going to be throwing I kill you moves all the time. Um, so damage isn't going to be very big of a concern. However, this also has the hidden passive, the hidden text of uh, you can't, hey squirrel, F off. You're not going to hit me for one damage. So you just got to walk past squirrels and you got to walk past a lot of animals that are annoying. Um... So if you're somebody that likes being able to pick and choose when they fight, having six threshold is pretty good. Uh, not being worried about like wolves or elf or wolf elves, wolves or squirrels or bear. Well, bears will probably swing for more than six, to be honest. But be not having to worry about crappy little animals bothering you when you're trying to walk from tavern to tavern or from your cabin to a tavern or vice versa is pretty relevant. It comes up. Uh, this also threshold, will also stop magic spell attacks. So if somebody throws elemental dart, which is a spell, um, which does five damage, uh, you have a threshold of six, uh, that spell will be stopped. So it does apply to spell damage too. Uh, anything that has a number called out. Uh, yeah, anything with a number, um, which is very... So, like, obviously things... So, in the just the rule book that we've covered so far, Slay, this does not interact with Slay. Slay is still very scary to you. But if somebody goes, like, 4 or 6 Waylay, which we've talked about, uh, you can be like, no, I have Threshold. Doesn't work. Uh, 
Now, one of the coolest things about Gargoyles, turn to stone. So you stand, your character's threshold is then increased to 100 points. So you just turn to stone, like you're a stone gargoyle, and you, and you have a threshold of like 100. But you have to stand still and be like super still. Now, keep in mind, threshold does not interact with slay. <laughs> so if you're if you're fighting something that can throw slays at you, and you're standing still hoping to not die, you're gonna eat a slay and it's gonna suck. Uh, and you have to buy it once. You have to buy it ten times because uh, you can only. It's not like I buy it once and then I can do it whenever. It's I buy it once and then I can do it one time a game. So you have to buy it. I'd buy it like three or four times. I wouldn't buy it ten times. That seems like not worth it. Uh, and then you can return to specifically begin moving. Yeah, and then you can return to normal at will. So if it's not working out, you can just run. Uh, let's see. Uh, this may also be used to escape flesh to stone effects, uh, which is neat. Like if you're fighting Medusas, this is relevant because if a Medusa turns you to stone, you're like, ha, I'm a gargoyle. I can turn my stone skin into real skin with this skill. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Ooh, boy, oh, buddy. Physical resist. This is really good. You know how we were talking about Slay interacting with uh, Threshold? This stops Slay. This stops Slay. Will resist one physical weapon or body strike weapon. Any weapon strike may be resisted as long as it's not a spell. Um, as long as a spell strike. It's a spell. That's what they you give a crap. Magic's still going to hit you. But anything that's like thrown through a sword or a claw or a weapon, anything that would physically hit you, you these are defenses for that. Which is really, really good. And they're at three build apiece. This is amazing. Amazing. This is one of the best skills in the game. I would go as far as to say that. This is a very good skill. Um, getting ten of these is busted uh obviously they're like stony guys and they uh and they're very strong so of course they have something like this right like it's very enigmatic of the race to have that uh let's see physical strikes and then they get better turn to stone so you know how turn to stone had downsides they get like better turn to stone that kind of like doesn't uh suck as bad they get more enhanced strength so they uh Four eight, so they'll have more than a flesh golem with their elder. Ooh, okay. So you know how we talked about athletics and how this is three build for five body. Elder athletics is really good because it's one build for ten body. That's busted at a ratio of one build to ten body. There is not. So if you'll see, a lot of these skills have like ratios of like four build to one point two. Having a ratio of one to ten is amazing like the elder athletics is sick it's dirt nasty oh and then more threshold so you go to 10 threshold base which is also really good because not a whole lot of stuff swings for more than 10 uh i'm a relatively advanced character and i swing for 11 that's like and you know i've played for like six or seven years and i'm swinging for 11 so if that puts it into perspective, like having 10 threshold is really good. Heart of stone, earth metabolism. Metabolism is a whole topic to get into. That's not something that's in the realm of the spirit, but know that having metabolism stuff is pretty good. Oh, uh, you get wings as a gargoyle. You get you get the levitate stuff. You, yeah, you get the the same levitate stuff that all the other wing wearing or floating guys get uh at elder yeah, Elder Gargoyles. Gargoyles are cool. I've met a couple of them. Um, definitely something to explore. I'm sure, I almost guarantee you, I can almost guarantee you that the that this is one of the races where it's like, nobody knows. Go figure it out. This is something that you can spend your time doing, and people probably have written it down somewhere, but nobody's figured it out. Like, this is probably like one of those races, and I would totally spend... A, like you can definitely spend a lot of time and uh, and put a lot of thought and effort into figuring out stuff about gargoyles that's a really cool race